Hi, in this video, I'm going to show a different example on simple interest. So normally, when we have a problem on simple interest, what we're looking for is basically the interest. And that is simply found by multiplying the principal P, the rate of interest, and the time, which is in years. But there are problems in which sometimes the missing is R, or the missing is P, or the missing is time. So in this particular example, I'll be showing you a problem in which the time is missing. And common to this questions are like finding the time when the amount is already twice its value, the principal is twice its value after some time or some or in some cases we have um, a uh, problem on when it will triple its value. So, but doubling, tripling or the value becomes four times, the, the approach is just the same. So let's take one example in which the amount will be doubled after some time. Okay, so let's take for example, the problem here is after how many years will an investment double its value under a 3.5% simple interest rate? So it's clear that what is missing is the time. So interest is equal to P, R, and then the T. Also take note that any future amount or what we call the future value is just the principal plus the interest in which we learn that this is P plus P R T or equivalent to P times 1 plus R T. So this is also something that we can use when it is needed. Okay, so take note of the formulas I, that's for the interest, and A for any future value or future amount. Now, going back to the problem, after how many years will an investment double its value under a 3.5% simple interest? In this kind of problem, it is better to apply the future value formula because it says about the future value of the investment and that is when it is already doubled the principal amount. So if we will apply or if we will use the information stated in the problem, that means we are concerned about having the P to become 2P, in which 2P is the future amount of P. So if we apply the amount formula which is P times 1 plus RT, the time that we're looking for is the time when A becomes 2P. And immediately, you will see that with this setup, the P will cancel with the other P. And the equation becomes 2 is equal to 1 plus RT. And if you continue, this is 2 minus 1 equals RT. And 1 is equal to R times T. And from here, it's very easy now to find the T because we already know what's the R. So if we will place the R, which is, given the problem is 3.5%, then this will become 1 is equal to 3.5% is 0 0.035 times the time. Dividing this, uh, both sides by 0 0.035, then we will get the exact time. This t is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.035 is 28.57. So it'll take it about approximately 29 years. So that's how long it will take. A certain value, any random value under a 3.5% simple interest rate to double mm -hmm. its value. And if you will observe, the um, formula that we obtain here can be used as a general formula whenever we want to find the time for a value to double its value or for the principal to double its value. 
and that is simply 1 divided by any given rate. Okay, so an, an immediate follow-up to this would be, what if the chain, uh, the range, uh, the rate rather, the rate is changed into 6.25%, simple interest. And you want to find any principal amount to double its value. So for how long will it take for that P to become 2P? That formula that we have seen earlier, 1 is equal to RT, is the only formula that you need. Okay, because this is only needing the value of R and 1 is always 1. So to find the time, so the time is simply 1 divided by R and if R is 6.25%, then that's 1 over 0 0.0625. And immediately, it will give you the value for the time and this will take 6 years. Six years. For any for value any to value double, to given the 6.25 percent. See, so uh, a shortcut. This could be taken as a shortcut. If we talk about tripling its value, then we need to derive a new formula for it. Okay, but the long way of doing it is by starting with the future value formula, and then supply the corresponding um, value, like for a to double. So you use 2P. If I say triple, then you use 3P. And from there, you can create a new formula that when you encounter the same or exact problem, then you can immediately apply the formula and you can find the time very easily. Okay? So what about if you're given an exact amount? Let's say... Suppose the principal amount is 25,000 and the rate is say 7.2% and it's under simple interest. The question is when will it double its value? Now you could think of that as to double its value that means you need a future value equal to 25,000 times 2 which is 50,000. So applying the formula, the future value formula, A is P1 plus RT, that will be 50,000 equals 25,000 times 1 plus the rate is 0 .0, 0 0.072 times the time. Dividing both sides by 25,000, of course you will get 50,000 divided by 25,000 is 2 and you have 1 plus 0 0.07 T and by transposing 1 that's 2 minus 1 is 0 0.07 T 72 rather 72 T and that's exactly what the formula was telling us earlier that it's equal to 1 equals the rate times the time whenever we are interested in the time when the principal amount is already double this value okay so you can do the long way you can do the shorter way that's one equals rt to find the time again this is used only when the amount or the time is um, as when the amount is already double this value okay try to experiment what if it's triple uh, if the value, the principal amount, is already triple, uh, three times its value. You will see a similar formula, and I need you to explore on that. Okay, find a new formula so that when you encounter a problem like it, uh, li like uh, tripling its value, then you will be able to find the time uh, easier or faster. Okay, so that's uh, my lesson for this video this is a specific example on simple interest uh, when we're looking for the time given that the amount is being doubled or being tripled I'll sh show or I'll create another video of the of a similar problem doubling and tripling its value uh, but this time it would be on the compound interest okay so this one that I have made is on simple interest Okay, that's it.